actual staff. They're kind of all surreal until Mr. Wizard pops in and says, Do you know where we can buy some game cubes and CRTs because none of our games use them? MLG Anaheim was probably one of the only examples where people would cheer on Cam when he was still playing and he was still active because uh, he was time to. I feel like people ostracized him and I'm not sure if that contributed to his to his retirement, but like whenever he looks back at Smash and he talks to me on a personal level, he always says chaotic, like the smashing was good for me, but like I don't know, I don't know if I could deal with all the trash talk and all the like the smashes anymore, treating me like that anymore. And I said to him, like, maybe you could turn up now. Like, they're always begging for you to come back. Like, they miss you, you know? You should really just come back and represent yourself. It doesn't matter if you feel bad anymore. It's nice to see, a, you know, a familiar face, you know, like, you know, speaking to his sons and, like, playing the game that we all love. And we like to see him perform and do his camp combos, you know? Can't you hear, dude? Hey, guys, can you hear me? Oh, my God! It's the voice that we all know and love. Even was kind of... It's kind of weird uh, getting back to it and thinking, you know, how far we've come since then. Look at the top three back. Ken was in first, Hugs in second, and some top player named Mango got third. Who would have thought that this many years later we'd be on that main stage? It's, it's magical. Vegas is going to be fun. Or just 
don't find the same kind of pleasure in it. They, they prefer to use their minds on something else. For those kinds of people, this would have been great, to aspire to be a, a cyber athlete and then play for money to be there. And I would have loved that opportunity. I would have done it. I would have dropped everything I would have done. People like wife, people like me, people like children. There were a lot of people heavily invested in the game trying to make it the next big thing. JV3, um, M3D. These are people that cared about the game. They wanted it to be something bigger. These people have the same competitive nature that any other athlete does. And since we don't have the means to nurture that and to make something of it, and that's, it sucks. And I hope it changes at some point in the future and not in a bullshit way. Like they're trying to do with some of these games where they're just commercializing it and exploiting these people that are legitimate mental athletes and exploiting them because they don't feel that the public will accept them as athletes. Hopefully that changes. By some dumb luck, hopefully maybe it's part of it. We'll see. A lot of people want, you know, Nintendo to acknowledge our existence. If they pump some money into uh, our competitive scene, it will be fantastic for us, I feel like. I certainly feel that way as well, but, you know. In that same sense, we're kind of weird as a game. We took Smash, this party game, and we made it our own. I think we are kind of maniacs in that sense. We have this sort of fervor for the game. We go from event to event. These are our churches, basically. You know, there's there's no praying, except if you know you hope your DI's on point. Nintendo will give support. We'll put in labor. We can do it ourselves. We're still playing this game 12 years after its release. There's another game in between there. That game we weren't happy with. So some people in that community said, why not mod it to make it more like the game we love so much? I think all that does kind of forge on Lucy. But I think, you know, in this case, our love for the game being described and being described as maniacs, not a bad thing at all. I think it's a compliment. Give me a rough smash, like as a whole, yeah. the whole thing. The whole thing. wrap up all, all of Smash. It means so much to me. And I really do think it was important. I really do think it was important. But you're asking me why? Well, it was a chance for us to be somebody. It was a chance for all of us to be somebody. And that was a big deal. Most of my conscious life, I've been playing Smash. Like, it's, I mean, it's a cliche statement, but it's more than a game. Like, it's, you know, it's literally part of my life. Um, most of my close friends, most of my best friends I've made through Smash. It also just shows, like, I feel like the reason I get along so well with Smashers is it shows their excellent judgment, but they chose to play this amazing game. So, I mean, it's partly that, but, you know, it's just, it brings people together that otherwise would not have been brought together. Like, I, the, I was saying earlier about, you know, how we met DA and everything, like, there's no reason for me as, like, a 13-year-old high school kid to be hanging out with, like, these 20-year-old Bronx people. But, you know, it, it happened, and it was awesome, and we actually got along and laughed with each other and stuff, you know. I really like the fact that it brings together people from, from every walk of life, really, you know, it, except girls. But, you know, we'll work on that, too.